We are at the home of one of my clients and she called me in today to do a refresh of her closet. So I'm gonna be sharing with you 10 clever life-changing hacks when it comes to organizing any small space or large space for that matter. It could be a mudroom like this, it could be a bedroom, it could be a pantry. It could be a catch-all space, which is basically what this room behind me is. Anything that I talk about today will be linked in that description box below and nothing in this video is sponsored. So without further ado, let's do it. Let's get a really good before of this closet so that you can see what we are working with. We have a variety of items in this closet. Yes, it is a dump closet, no judgment there. We have craft supplies, we have winter things, we have party supplies, we have cleaning supplies, we have purses, we have, we just have all the things all up in this closet. Thumbs up if you have a space in your home that you can relate to on this one. This closet needs to serve multifunctional purposes so I will show you how I deal with those situations. As you can see here, I'm working in quite a small space. It is not the smallest of spaces. And some bonuses here as well. This is gonna be a budget-friendly closet transformation. Heck to the yes. My first tip for you is to really assess your space and take inventory of all the different categories of items that you have in it. So for example, in my client's closet, we have craft supplies, we've got cleaning supplies, we've got winter things, we've got party things, we've got sunscreen. We basically have everything in this closet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write down the various items that we have. And in my mind and on paper, I'm going to see what I can categorize together. When you can put things in category, it makes it more manageable and it makes it easier to break down your project item by item and task by task. This really helps with reducing any sort of overwhelm when it comes to organizing a small space or a closet. Once you have your main category set, and yes, you're gonna have little items that kinda of don't fall in any of those big categories, that's okay, we'll address those in just a little bit. You want to shop your home. Yes, shop your home. You do not wanna go out and start buying all these organizing supplies, getting online, seeing what's available, although I do absolutely love that. You wanna use what you already have within your home. You don't wanna bring new clutter in if you do not have to. I knew my client had a stash of organizational items, so I went down there I perused I shopped whatever was in her basement I looked through pantries I asked her what do you have that you're not using and I put everything together so that I could divide and conquer so now you really have assessed your space and you've taken inventory. You've wrote down the big categories of items that you're gonna to group together. You've also shopped your home to see if you had any organizational supplies or bins that you could use in your project to stay on budget and be a little bit more resourceful. The next step is to really go through and refresh your space. And when I say refresh your space, I mean really touch all the items in your space, whether it's a mud closet like this or your closet Closet with your wardrobe and all your regular clothing or a craft closet whatever that space may be for you touch the items open the drawer see what's inside and really decide for yourself which of these items do you want to keep and which ones do you want to rehome now I know oftentimes many of us will just go to Goodwill which is great to donate our items however they are not the most economical in my opinion when it comes to people who are in need of items of clothing or home accessories so what you can actually do do is just go into Google and type in donation centers near me. And what you will often find is that in your area, there are lots of churches or nonprofit organizations that are ready and willing to accept your items. And oftentimes they may even pick them up. The best part about this is that these items are usually free for the people that need them rather than paying some of the prices that you'll often see at Goodwill. I know that sometimes when we refresh our homes or release items that are in our possessions, we can feel a sense of loss, but if you know that these items are going to people who could really utilize them and benefit their lives, it makes us feel really good about the process that we are doing rather than focusing on the loss of an item. 
My next tip is to start small. We wanna get that snowball effect moving. I'm not gonna start with the craft supplies because that is the biggest category. You saw all those items in this closet. So the first thing that I'm gonna start with is the winter stuff. I need to find a proper home for these items. I wanna organize them a little bit better if I can. Then I wanna move on to the cleaning supplies. There's not as many items in this category in my client's closet. So I think this is the next area that I can tackle so I'm creating a mental picture, even writing down some of these things in the plan that I'm going to proceed with. Once I'm done with the cleaning supplies, then I'm gonna move on to the different trays and organizers and TV trays. There's also a table that you can open up. I don't think those items necessarily belong in this particular space. I checked with my client and I am able to relocate some of those items. Oftentimes we have spaces like this, it just becomes like a dump all, stash all, and certain things do not belong in that area. So reassess whether the items that are currently in there should remain in that area. Does it really function in the way that you want it to. Rehome particular items if they don't belong in that space. If you are frequently touching something, you want to make sure that you have it readily available for you. But if it's something like a TV tray that you don't use very often or a folding card table that you maybe only use once a year, if you have a basement or some sort of storage that you could put that in, now would be an excellent time to give that item a new home. In my client's case, she lives in a climate where there are four seasons, so she doesn't necessarily necessarily need access to hats and mittens and scarves on a day-to-day -day basis. So if we can put those in a different area, we can free up some of the space right here where we got all these craft supplies that we're gonna be working with. We have all these winter items. What I'm actually going to do is change out the hangers, style it up, and then I have a closet up here that I can work with. I'm actually gonna be taking out some of these. These are gonna go downstairs in the basement and that will free up some space to put these winter items. This is looking better already. A little bit more breathing room. Oh, and look, a potential basket that we could use. Whenever I start an organizing project, I get butterflies in my stomach and I think to myself, oh man, am I going to be able to do this? And I just get some momentum going and everything starts to fall together. In just a moment here, I'm going to show you two super helpful organizational items that are going to make your job so much easier. First things first, you know I had to clean this closet out before I could go in and organize it. So I just took a broom, swept up the floor, and then the next thing is I looked in the closet and I thought to myself, which items do not need to be in here? There were a bunch of unused pillows and I had seen a spot in another place in her house where I knew those pillows could go. And then there are also some cords and then some old pictures and picture frames. So I want her to put those in a place that will be safe and keepsake. I know they're not items that she necessarily wants out, so we don't need them in this closet right now here and you know I love my matching hangers I actually had some leftover acrylic hangers from a previous project so I went ahead and took all of the old hangers off of those coats and I put them in the closet one by one and that basket that I found in this closet I actually used to hold the hangers in place now my client can decide what she wants to do with these hangers whether she wants to donate them recycle them or reuse them this closet is starting to look fantastic we actually have a two for one special here when it comes to this closet organization process. I put all of her jackets on 
the left hand side of the closet and then on the right hand side of the closet there was only a few jackets that were his but I wanted to be sure to separate them so that they could easily find their jackets should they need them. Now the other nice thing about this is they can actually take these jackets out of here depending upon the season. If there's ones that they wear more frequently they can put them by the garage door in that bigger closet that we're working with. Remember those bins that we shopped in my client's home before? Well, we're absolutely going to use those so that we do not have to spend one penny. We can use it more fun things like coffee and chocolate and all of that. That large bin that I found in the basement, I'm actually using to put her boots in. We have a pair of winter boots and then we have several rain boots. A pro tip here, when you are stacking shoes, stack them vertically if you can, because you can tend to get more within your container or your space rather than laying them horizontally like this. Then I went through, she had a ton of hats, and mittens and scarves. So I laid everything out, made sure that everything had its proper match, its proper mate. I wanted to see how many items in total she had of each thing because that would help me determine how large of a container or bin that I needed. And I found this beautiful basket in her basement and I decided to put all the hats and mittens in there. Again, you want like things with like things because it's easier then to put them away and then maintain this system. And that colorful basket that was previously in the closet by the mud room, I decided to put all the scarves in there. But rather than being a jumbled mess, which is hard to find, you don't know exactly what you have, and then you oftentimes end up buying more because you forgot what you had. Thumbs up if you can relate to that one. I wanted to fold them very nicely, very neatly, because when something's folded nice and neat, you feel a little weird messing it up. You want to put it back in its proper container. I folded these scarves in such a way so that when she pulled out the bin, she could see exactly what scarf was which and which one she wanted to wear and then she could pull it out and when she's done she can put it back but this closet is so functional now it has all the winter gear all the winter apparel all the boots are in one spot all the scarves are one spot coats are all together they look nice and organized women's on one side men's on the other side I was not planning to organize this closet but it kind of became inevitable because I needed to free up some space in that other closet because the things that are in that closet didn't all necessarily need to be in in that particular space. Now you may be saying to yourself, Andrea Jean, you're just cluttering up other closets. Well, we will get to those closets in due time, my friend, but at least those items are where they need to be. So if you love all things organizing and transformation, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and turn on those notification bells. We have started with the smaller projects. All the items have been rehomed to some extent. I know we're gonna find additional items in here that probably don't belong in this space, but we will get to it now it is time we are going to tackle these crafts and as you can see there are quite a lot of them yep buried back here we have some more i recently purchased this cart at aldi it is so amazing i think at this point i have purchased probably six of these babies i've even gave away two of these on my channel because they are that awesome i use this in my son's room for an organizational project i also use this in my daughter's room and today we're going to put this together and we're going to use it in this craft room i love how it has wheels on it and it looks cute oh look i already found a mitten that does doesn't belong here, but at least we know where its proper home is now. There we go, buddy. I'm sure we'll find your mate a little bit later in this video. At least we hope.
doing projects like this that take a decent amount of time, do not forget to blast some of your favorite pump up tunes. Can you guess what I'm listening to right now? Let me know, let me know in that comments box below. If you guess country music, you are correct and win a prize. This time when I put the storage cart together, I did not mess up the first time I did it. Ooh, I had like X and B and Y and Z in all the wrong places, but I got it right this time. I'm very excited. I love this cart. It has 12 drawers. I found some very high quality similar ones on Amazon. I'm gonna link in the description box below for you. I even found a rainbow, really colorful one. It's kind of home edit inspired. So if you love this cart and all the bright, beautiful colors when it comes to organizing, you're gonna love the ones that I have linked below. Now the nice thing about this cart is it has wheels. We love that. We can roll it around. My client has grandkids so they need to be able to roll this cart out of the closet and bring it on to the kitchen table. The wheels also lock in place. It has two handles on the side so you can move it to and fro. You can basically go anywhere you want to with this cart. Now my next task, this is kind of like acne it gets worse before it gets better sometimes i'm gonna pull all the craft supplies out and i'm gonna lay them on the counter or counters depending upon how many craft supplies i have and then i'm gonna group them by likeness by category and that will help me decide which items need to go in which size bin so let's do it One little tip I have when it comes to organizing anything is always to keep a garbage can and or recycling near you. That way you can dispose of any items right away rather than putting it somewhere and then having to put it then in the garbage can. Less steps is better in my opinion. And in this project, I was able to get rid of quite a few empty things that were no longer needed. In fact, I think I ended up emptying an entire garbage can, which is super satisfying. The other tip that I have for you is to condense items, get rid of any packaging when you can. So if you have like items, like let's say a bunch of different bags of beads and you think to yourself, well, these are all basically the same type of beads, put them all in the same container or the same bag. I actually love using plastic baggies when I organize because they're, you know, you can break them down a little bit. They have a little bit more pliability when you're putting them in different size containers. This is absolutely remarkable. I've already emptied this trash one more time, but these these are all the things that we are not going to be using at this time in this project. And again, when I condense things, I was able to get rid of some of these different containers right here. My client can use them however she wants to, if she wants to use them. I didn't love these. I like the idea, but they're just so flimsy. And especially if you have kids getting things in and out, they're not going to hold up. In this car right here, it's actually kind of on its last leg. It served its purpose, but if a kid's trying to roll this in and out with heavy things in it, it's not going to really uh, stand up for you so I'm very grateful that we were able to empty this and condense everything nicely
The biggest item in this craft selection were the papers. So many papers. So I used this black bin to organize all of them. So they're all consistent in one location. But within this, I did organize. You can see that every drawer has some sort of rhyme and raisin. This gray bin right here is absolutely remarkable. I love these. They are see-through, they are stackable. I purchased them at Walmart. I have a few in my stash, so I thought it would bring it in for my client because I had all these sort of bits and bobs that didn't necessarily fit a particular category, but I thought this would be a great way to store everything in a way that she could easily access these items. Every item in your home has its own home. So in particular for this craft slash mudroom slash multi-purpose closet, I wanted to make sure that each item had a specific home. So that helps when you put like items with like items. You certainly could go in and label everything that you wanted to at this point. However, again, I did not spend really any money when it came to organizing my client's closet back here. I had the Aldi cart already on hand that I had purchased and then the Walmart stackable bins. I actually had this in my organizing stash from a previous organization video. I lined up sandals vertically in there and I think I was able to fit like 25 pairs of sandals. Yes, absolutely remarkable. Now when every item in your home has a home or at least 90% of it or so, then it's much easier to make decisions around if you're going to buy new things, bring new things into your home because then you really have to think about well, where am I gonna put this item? Do I have a place to put this item? One little trick that I use in my closet is I only have a certain number of hangers. And if I run out of hangers because I bought something, then I have to donate something. And so far it has worked out quite well. I've been able to maintain my closet with four busy kids. Oh my gosh, are you seeing what I'm seeing? I'm inspired to do a Dollar Tree video. Look at these. Oh my word, they are stackable. Look at how huge these are. There we go. Oh, I'm loving this. I think my next video is going to be a Dollar Tree video. But stay focused, Andrea. Loving those Dollar Tree organizers, but look at these ones. They have dry erase on the outside, so you can change these bins in and out. You don't have to worry about any sort of stickers. And then if you did not know, head on over to your local Hobby Lobby, 50% off these beautiful storage containers and the quality on these are awesome. I mean, take your pick. This would have looked great in that craft closet for all kinds of things. I'm loving it and just about eight bucks with that 50% off coupon. Oh, and look at this bin. I love the double handles. It's durable, it's a little bit flexible. It could hold so many things at the bottom of a closet, on a top shelf, and I'm inspired by all the colors here. Take your pick. Okay, acrylic can get really pricey. So I had to head over to the kitchen section here at Hobby Lobby. So this is about 10 bucks, two fridge organizers in one. Yes, I get super excited about all things organizing, even in your refrigerator. It makes you wanna keep it that way, which is exciting and motivating. And then here's another one that I found. I just want to show you a few items to give you some inspiration for other areas in your home as well. Super tall, easy access right there. And then, oh, I cannot get enough of these three tier organizers. I think I bought some on Amazon that were like way too expensive. So this is a great deal as well. And my last hack and tip when it comes to organizing your closet or any space is to reward yourself because organizing can be a lot of work. It's time consuming, it's tedious. I know that it can feel overwhelming, especially when there are just so many gadgets and gizmos and bobbits and things, and then life gets ahead of you, right? You got so many other things going on. So be sure to reward yourself. Once you have a system in place, implementing these 10 tips that I showed you here today will be so much easier. Hi there, may I please get a medium coffee with light half and half? Come to mama. Small victories add up to huge ones over time. And then once you reward yourself and you get that momentum going, you're like, let's go, let's tackle the next project. Or maybe not, and maybe you're just like, I'll just have Andrew G come over and help you. And I'm happy to do that. If you do need to shop for organizational items, you do not need to break the bank and go to the container store. I was there last week and for like one acrylic container, it was like $50. That's absolutely insane to me. And if you've never heard of Timu, I recently partnered up with them and did a whole house 
organization video with like over 40 products. I'm gonna link that video in the description box below. Super, super affordable and great quality. I'm absolutely loving how both of these closets turned out. It took me, I would say, about eight hours or so, so I'm definitely ready for some coffee. My client is gonna be home from work very soon. I cannot wait to see her expression. You can see here that every drawer is so nicely organized. We have the Play-Doh all in one, we have stickers in the other, we have learning books, and I just moved this on over. This was a much better spot for all of these paper items because I'll show you in just a minute what I put in that other corner. And do you remember these containers? Yeah, these were in my client's basement. I'm so happy I was able to reuse them, the back stock of items, and here we are in the corner. And I just put the cleaning supplies right in there so that she could easily get to them when she needed. And there's that basket that I put her dusters in, again, reusing and making use of what she had kept the sunscreen up there and these were things that needed to be in this closet but didn't necessarily have a specific spot so they're gonna make their spot on the top shelf right there but everything is just looking amazing and if you remember the last big category that we needed to address were all of these bags and I actually accumulated even more when we cleared out the boots and the hats and the mittens so I just took another one of my gray bins that I had in my stockpile and I'm going to put them all in here so that she can easily get to these because I do know that she likes to use them and you can see right here everything is so easily contained she could even put a ton more in there if her heart desires and then if you just look in the back here i did hide a little something sometimes those oblong shapes are a little tricky i put these big i believe they're 21 bags in the back and i know that she would want them if she's going to the park with the kids or going to the beach and she can easily pull them out but they are nice and concealed at the same time now we definitely have to go back to the before. Do you remember this closet? Yeah, everything was in disarray. Like we just threw it in the closet. You could barely see the floor. You definitely could not walk inside. This closet also looked so much smaller than it actually is. We found rhyme and reason for all of these materials. We made everything functional. We made everything easy to access. And here we are in the after. I am so impressed with how everything turned out. It looks amazing. We were able to reuse items that she already had, did not spend one penny. That's the key here. You do not need a budget really at all in order to organize the items in your home and make your home feel more inviting, more welcoming, more functional, and just make you have that refreshed feeling. Thumbs up if you are loving this as much as I am. We are back at my client's house and she absolutely loved the closet transformation. This is the text message that she sent me. I get just as excited about these transformations as if this were my own house. That's how much I love it. I wanted to just drop off these chocolate chip banana muffins, my infamous ones. These are so stinking delicious. I'm gonna link the recipe in the description box below for you in case you are interested. Also in that description box, I have a weekly cleaning and organizing newsletter, so make sure that you sign up so that you do not miss out on all the fun that we have going on in here. Click this video on screen now if you want to see some really affordable organizing items from Timu, or how about this one right here if you want to see a really fun and satisfying closet transformation. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you, my friend, in the next one.